towering fly ball home runs. Runners at first and third, and Vaughn takes down low. Dangerous count now for Shane Reynolds on the mound. Greg Vaughn, in a full season covering the back half of 96 and then all of last year, hit cutting in on this race. It was supposed to be a three-way race, remember, between it's Griffey it. and Sosa and McGuire. There's a lot of people still involved in this thing. How about Navy Perez <laughs> to right field? This is Coors Field. He's at least got extra bases for the second time today. Hey, he wants three. Kelly's throw. He's Too late. Three. On the single. At the very least, move this man along, try to open it up in a tight 2-1 affair. There's the bunt. He pushes it past the mound. He just might have it. He does. <laughs> hey, all we need here is a home run. Home run for the cycle. <laughs> he got it! I don't I believe you. <laughs> all we need was a home run and the first pitch. Neefy hit it. Did that ball go in the second deck? We called you Nostradamus and we laughed. <laughs> That's what he needed for the cycle. He's got the cycle. That's Double. Do it the hard way, too. Double, triple, bunch, single, home run, his eighth homer of the year. And it is now 3 2 Colorado. Nafi Perez, the second cycle in the history of this franchise. Dante Bichette meeting Nafi Perez. Well, hitting for the cycle. Single, double, triple, homer. There was no doubt about that one. No doubt about it. The pitcher knew it as soon as the bat hit the ball. Nafi knew it. Ball ricocheting off the second deck there. Didn't overswing. Didn't look, didn't look, that swing didn't look a lot different than his first swing of the game. The, the double to our left, the right center. What a great feeling that must be for that kid. why they chose to move Walt Weiss. And they figured Nafi Perez could handle the shortstop position. And he has. He's been very good. And he's kind of lost some of his cockiness as well. A cockiness that rubbed some of his veteran teammates the wrong way when he first came up. He has now earned cockiness. He's just going out and playing the game. All they want to see is just guys go out there and give 100% offer. Uh, effort. They don't want to see the hot dog the hot dog stuff and all that stuff. You just want to go out, go out and play hard and keep your mouth shut and we'll all get along and that's what he does. The fans loving it. Nafi Perez. There's the guy that didn't like it too much. The guy that's been victimized for the cycle, Matt Morris. Do you think he knows right there? Yes. Do you think Nefi ever hit a for the cycle in the minor leagues? Do you think he ever hit for one in the little league? He needed was that single. By the way, the answer to your question is yes, he did hit for the cycle once in the minor oh, leagues. This is old hat then for him. <laughs> this is old hat. Actually, he had seven consecutive hits in that ball game, a 13 inning game. That was a couple of years ago for Colorado Springs. Tony La Russa doesn't care one whit about it. The day actually belonged to the normally light-hitting shortstop of the Colorado Rockies. Navy Perez hit for the cycle today. Did you ever think when you woke up this morning that you were going to come to the ballpark and see him hit for the cycle? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Had that Maybe one. George or McGuire. I mean, you wouldn't <laughs> think McGuire because McGuire would have a trouble, I think, a tough time hitting a uh, triple. But he was all over the place today. That was a gift right here. He got a little sacrifice, but single right there. But can you imagine? coming up to bat and all of a sudden you need a home run for the cycle and he did it the what game a day. ends with mcguire on deck chip and steve coming up and they'll have bonus coverage of houston san diego too